I'm sure when you think about wellness and health, you probably think about the exercises you do, the foods you eat, maybe you even consider the thoughts that you think, but do you ever really stop and think about the products that you put onto your skin? Hi, welcome back. My name is Wendy, and today I wanna to talk to you about one thing that you can avoid in your skincare to really play a, an important role in your health and well being. One thing I would say that would be very important to avoid in your skincare products is fragrance. Now, when I'm talking about fragrance, I'm talking about chemical, man made, artificial, synthetic fragrance. Your skin is your overall largest organ, and what we put onto our skin is really important because, to some extent, everything that is applied to our skin ends up in, in our bodies and in our bloodstream. In the morning before you leave home, many times we're already bombarded with toxins. When you think about your shampoo, deodorant, lotion, hairspray, perfume, all the things that we do in the mornings to get ready to go out and face the world, but sometimes those things are toxic to us and can really hamper our health. Now, we all like to smell good, but Fragrance, sometimes listed as perfume or perfume on an ingredient list, is just a catch-all term that is used to cover literally thousands of chemical ingredients. So these are things that a lot of times are petroleum-based. They can cause short-term problems such as allergies, respiratory problems, headaches, nausea, dizziness. Many of the chemicals that are included in the term fragrance are known to be carcinogenic, which means they are known to lead to cancer. Many are neurotoxins, which means it is bad for your brain health. Especially think about a pregnant woman using products that can damage the brain development of a fetus. Many of those are endocrine disruptors, so they tamper with your hormonal health. They can lead to weight gain. You know, it's scary things when you start to think about the repercussions of using ingredients that you feel like are doing your body good. But when you get down to it, those ingredients can really be doing more damage than though you may not be aware of it at the time. There is no law in place that requires the ingredients within a fragrance to be listed for the consumer to read about, educate themselves about, and make a decision based on facts. Greenwashing is a real thing. You can look at a label and it will say no sulfates, no phthalates, no parabens, but it doesn't really tell you what's actually in the product. So to be sure, it's really important to become a label reader so you can see what is in the product and be wise about the things that you decide to apply to your skin. It can be overwhelming if you really start digging into ingredients and trying to figure out which ones are good for you and which ones are not. There are some apps that you can download on your phone to help you become more savvy when it comes to choosing products that are more healthy for you than others. One, the Environmental Working Group has a Healthier Living app that you can download and scan or search products. Another app, is the Yucca app for cosmetics and food products. But you can check to see and get a rating on what is harmful to you and what is not so that you can be better prepared to make a decision when you're in the store or getting ready to place an online order. If you're finding this beneficial, please like and share with a friend. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So what do you do if you are trying to avoid fragrance and you realize it is in so many things. First of all, you can look for things that are naturally scented when you use ingredients like lavender or calendula, honey. Those things that are naturally scented will give you an essence without an overpowering or chemically induced smell. Another thing you can do is look for products that are made with 100% pure essential oils. That way you have the scent without the danger of the chemical fragrances. I'll link in the description the brand that I've been using for skincare for the past three years or so. I don't have to worry about toxins because everything is non-synthetic, farm fresh, no fragrance, no artificial ingredients of any sort. In fact, it's clean enough to eat. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could if you wanted to give it a try. 
I know that there are other brands out there that carry good, clean ingredients without the fragrance or the other toxins. If you have a favorite, drop it below and let me know. I would love to hear. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time.